It's great that the uh, 2011 season's finally here. You know, I love this place. I love Melbourne. I love Australia. And um, for me, it's, it's, it's been a great race, racing in, in Albert Park. The last two years I've won here, so uh, I come here positive and uh, looking forward to the first race of the season. You know, the winter's been long, and uh, it's finally nice to get back into racing. Racing is what I love most. So uh, obviously all the testing and stuff is exciting, but the, getting in the car and competing, that's the most exciting part. So I can't wait to get back in the car tomorrow. I think I have a lot less on my mind this year than I maybe did last year. And I've um, enjoyed the weather more. I've played a bit of golf, I've done training, I've done some cool events with Vodafone. And so, yeah, feeling wicked. And obviously, Again, really excited to get back in the car for the race, so quite happy. It's great to be back in Australia, you know, I've, uh, I've been here for already a few days um, with Jessica, which has been great, and uh, we've done quite a lot of fitness training. It's nice, to, it's nice to come to a race and actually enjoy the country, because a lot of the time we arrive and we're straight into racing and work. It's nice to spend time here and, and really enjoy uh, the country. Uh, 2011, there are a couple of new things. You know, we have the uh, drag reduction rear wing. Uh, we also have Kerr's hybrid system. So there's a uh, there's a lot more to do in the car. Um, and a lot of people, I think, have complained about it being so busy. It is busier. You know, and when you're driving it at such high speeds, and you're concentrating so much on driving itself. It's a lot to do, but we'll get used to it, and it'll be fine. With those two components, you know, you have to engage the rear wing and the Kerr's. Plus, you have these new tyres that are really not easy to use so I'll be real surprised if there's not some serious overtaking you know probably one of the most exciting races um, the, the public have seen for a while. Yeah, we have a few things here on the car in Melbourne I think we've, we've solved all our reliability issues and if you're with any team that can um, really improve the car over the first few races it's got to be the got of home McLaren Mercedes team so we might arrive here not in not in the quickest car at this moment in time but we will make that happen as soon as possible. Street circuits are the ones that most drivers prefer most. It's the most challenging, it's the most um, relentless, you know, you can't make too many mistakes, there's not much runoff area. Um, it's bumpy, it's slippery. Uh, and for me, it's, it's, it's a great circuit. There's always a very good atmosphere. The Australians love their motorsport. Uh, Melbourne has been good to me over the last couple of years. Uh, it would be amazing to get a hat trick here uh, in Melbourne. It'd be the first time I've ever, I've ever done that. So uh, that's got to be my aim. But I think this year is probably more tricky than any other year because Formula One is so competitive at the moment. It's a long shot, but uh, never say never. And uh, that's, that's exactly what I have to aim for. Of course, we want to win this weekend, but whether or not we have the performance to do that, I don't know. We're just going to go flat out and try to score some serious points this weekend. It's a long, long season. so. It's not all one this weekend. Driving the V8 Supercar was a, a lot of fun here in Bathurst. And I mean, first of all, trying to learn the circuits uh, uh, difficult enough, but uh, then it's taken me in a V8 Supercar. On the straights, it's a lot easier to drive because an F1 car here is just bumpy and uh, you're hitting the ground a lot. Um, but in the high speed corners, you can feel the car moving around a bit more. But, a great car and I really, really enjoyed it. I, you know, just disappointed I could only do two laps with it. Well, I, I'm really fortunate that I get to do quite a few different um, events with um, the, the World of Difference program. And um, it, it's always cool to see what has been given back to the, the, you know, the money that's being raised. The, um, bringing the communities together, giving people opportunities to make a difference in other people's lives. It's really neat what Vodafone is doing and, and so I'm always very supportive of it and feel quite privileged to be a part of it. Yeah.